What is going on everybody and welcome back to the White Sea Deer channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this day, this great morning, May 6, 2021. It is a pleasure to be with y'all. Man, I'm tired. I might need a second cup of coffee. But I hope you guys are having a great morning and I know you're going to have an even better day. Sorry for the lack of an evening video yesterday. Um, one, there really wasn't that much news that I really wanted to talk about. Two, I got home from work very late. Uh, it was time for me to relax and play some near replicant, but uh, which, by the way, is going great. Uh, when I'm done with it and playing through it, I'll uh, I'll talk about it on the channel for sure. Um, that's gonna be my new thing. Uh, finish the games and then talk about them, give you guys a bit of a rundown and a review with some gameplay. Um, but for now, let's jump into this article, which is very interesting to me. Uh, we got some poaching of employees. Well, I I, I guess I wouldn't necessarily say poaching but we'll get into it hope you guys enjoy make sure to like and subscribe it goes a long way to help me out uh, and happy morning to y'all let's jump right into this all right so as always credit to our uh, journalist gabe gerwin i'm pretty sure we have read one of their articles before um, this time it is on GameSpot. I think it, I think it was on GameSpot last time too. Uh, but let's jump into it. Several X Stadia developers join Jade Raymond's new game studio. Haven Studios now employs Corey May, who was the narrative lead on Assassin's Creed for years. So if you don't know, Google Stadia, there's a bit of a migration right now of game developers. Obviously, Google Stadia lost um, all of their first party support. So a lot of those developers were laid off. Some of them were released, um, but a lot of them were leaving on their own terms to go do other things. So that's why I said it's not necessarily poaching because there really wasn't anything for these developers to do in the first place over at Stadia. Um, but let's jump into the first paragraph here. We'll, we'll talk more about Stadia here in a minute. So several former Google Stadia first party developers have joined Haven Entertainment Studios, a new company founded by former Stadia studio head Jade Raymond. They include the former lead writer for the Assassin's Creed series, Corey May, who also worked at Ubisoft during Raymond's tenure. So obviously getting any veteran of, of Ubisoft is a, is a big deal. Uh, the lead writer for Assassin's Creed 2, I mean, come on. Uh, that That's a huge pickup for this new Haven Entertainment studios which we'll get into what they're all about here in a bit um, but it looks like we got some big hitters going to the studio stadia is losing some big hitters but like I said they don't got anything for them to do now that they ended first party support which is really sad but again we'll get into that let's continue with the article May will be Haven Entertainment Studios' world and IP director, which appears to be a similar sort of position that he held at Ubisoft. He'll likely be responsible for the overarching narrative of the studio's projects. Um, in between Ubisoft and Google, Corey May worked in narrative design roles at both Certain Affinity and 2K Games. At Certain Affinity, he, he's included in the credits of Doom, but the company only worked on the competitive multiplayer. He also co-wrote Batman Arkham Origins because he, he was a narrative director at Stadia Games and Entertainment for only about eight months, and internal development has been shut down. It doesn't appear we'll see the fruits of his labor during this time, which um, that's really sad. A lot of the work that the folks over at Stadia did never really came to light. Uh, the one game they did release had some terrible bugs um, that basically made it unplayable. Um, and I really don't know how that was resolved. I, I remember there being a fight between Google and I believe some of the old developers um, trying to figure out who was going to fix this. And because they had shut down their first party support, right after releasing that game nobody really knew what to do i i don't know what the the result of that was um but that that would be interesting to look into in the future but yeah it, it's absolutely ter terrible what happened over at stadia a lot of these guys worked very hard and you know think you'd think working for google you'd be okay you know but obviously it didn't work out for them moving on stadia games gm sebastian Puel also joined the company as a co-founder and staff UX researcher Jonathan Dankoff has joined and as an insights director. Concept artist Erwin Leorozic and Francis Denoncourt joined as well as did software engineer Pierre-Marc Berube. <laughs> Don't know if I said that right. 
uh, with Google already laying off many of its Stadia developers as the service moves to only offering third-party games, its head of product, John Justice, also left the company. However, it doesn't appear he joined Haven with the other departing employees. One key Stadia figure who remains at Google is Phil Harrison. Joining the company in January 2018, Harrison also had roles at Microsoft during early Xbox One era and was at PlayStation from 92 to 2008. Okay. So that was the article. It was very quick, um, but I think it th- I think it highlighted some interesting stuff. Um, we're starting to see the really big downfall of Stadia, which is sad. You, you never like to see uh, these things not pan out, but obviously it just happens sometimes. Uh, there were a lot of first-party developers that uh, lost their jobs here. They put in a lot of work for very little reward. Um, I hope they were compensated fairly for their time. Um, I'm sure they were. It is Google, by the way, <laughs> you know, but it's it's really sad to see uh, see all that work never come to light. Um, I I don't know if I'd say Stadia was ahead of its time, um, but it, it definitely wasn't the right time and it wasn't done right. Um, Stadia was a very exclusive thing for people that had very good internet. Not everyone in this country has access to good internet like you and I maybe. So, um, but yeah, it's really sad to see this go. I might pick up a Stadia controller just for the collection, you know, just for the yucks to, to be able to say I have one. Um, I don't know how expensive they are right now, but, uh, might as well pick one up just to, to preserve some game history. Cause we don't have a console to preserve with this thing. Um, now I'm saying this like Google Stadia is dead. It's not dead yet. It's still out there, but it's obvious, uh, the, the signs are pointing towards a shutdown of this service in the future, uh, with X cloud coming on already becoming incredibly more popular than stadia ever was um cloud gaming is definitely going to be something i think is managed by microsoft and sony um i don't think google is going to be able to come in and into this market um i think xbox and sony are going to use their existing fan base to really populate uh, those services but anyways um so yeah i also want to include this article here um this is a playstation blog article introducing haven um, which is based out of Montreal. Um, it says they're working on an unannounced new IP for PlayStation. So all those people that I just told you that went to this Haven company, they're now working on a new IP, <laughs> which that sounds incredible. You, you have Ubisoft writers, you have some incredible graphics designers, um, engineers, all this stuff. And it, it's exciting. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what kind of new IP they can pump out for us for uh, for PlayStation. Hopefully, I'll have a PlayStation by then. I'm sure I will. I have to get one before Ratchet and Clank. Everybody, we all know that. Uh, we're gonna do our best here over at the White Sea Deer Channel. Um, but yeah, so PlayStation hyping them up a bit, and then here's Haven's actual website. It says it just says Haven coming soon. So this is fresh, everybody. This is breaking, breaking stuff. Uh, this is a company that is just starting. This is gonna be their first project um i'm excited to see it i'm seeing a lot of big hitters going to the company uh they obviously have experience and and they're hungry to get a game out because they've been working at a company for what did it say the past eight to 12 months some of these uh employees have been working there and and they don't get nothing out of it Uh, but yeah so what do you guys think i'll link everything in the description below go check it out yourselves leave me a comment what do you guys think about this whole thing have any of you used stadia before do you like it are you sad to see it go um let me know what you think. Um, if you enjoyed that video, please like and subscribe. Um, I was a little off today. I'm pretty pretty tired, everybody. Long, long week at work so far. But uh, we're kicking it over here, having our coffee, enjoying the morning. And I hope you guys are too. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you all. Take it easy now.